Gotta look back down the road I know that it's not too late No one is ever going to accuse Mark Oliver Everett of playing against type on the 11th album he's released under the Eels name. On the sliding emotional scale of Eels albums, which you can broadly say runs the full gamut of feelings from miserable to suicidally depressing, the cautionary tales is about as dark as he's ever got. And yes, that includes the album that ruminated on his mother's death from cancer and his sister's suicide. The life I've lived, I'm better off dead, runs a typical lyric, but be warned, it's not all as remorselessly upbeat as that. Now, I'm aware that a concept album featuring 13 painfully slow songs about a failed romance might be something of a tough sell. You might well conclude that there's already enough misery in the world without adding to it by spending an hour listening to a 50-year-old man remorselessly flagellate himself for screwing up his relationship. I can understand why, but I think you'd be missing out. Lyrically, The Cautionary Tales is a deeply uncomfortable listen. Even though Everett has obviously invited the world to share in his personal torment by turning it into an album, his depiction of what he calls his assholery is so unflinching that it's hard to avoid feeling like you're prying. But musically, it's anything but hard work. These are rich, finely turned, beautifully orchestrated songs. The most obvious recent comparisons are with the work of John Grant or with Beck's 2002 album Sea Change where the agonising emotional turmoil is offset by the dark beauty of the music. Looking further back, Gentleman's Choice, from whence that uh, I'm better off dead lyric springs, has a distinct hint of both Randy Newman and 70s Tom Waits about it. That it's not merely influenced by them, but fit to stand in their company, tells you all you need to know about how good Everett's songwriting is here. And for those who feel discomforted by the fact that Everett appears to make better music when he's in the depths of despair than when he's happy, or relatively happy, there's even a faint flicker of hope at the album's close, Where I'm Going, a song that suggests the catharsis of the cautionary tales has worked. It's out now. I can't keep defeating myself I can't keep repeating the mistakes of my youth